after about of being sick, we're going to talk about the inaugural Epcot International Festival of the Arts and all of the wonderful things that come with it. I was lucky enough to attend the first weekend of the inaugural Epcot International Festival of the Arts earlier this month, and let me tell you, there's a lot to talk about with this one. I intended to have this video up earlier this week, but I've been sick, and something tells me that a stuffy nose and a pale face wouldn't really get across just how much I love everything about this festival. We'll start with the food, because that's usually what I love the most about any of the Epcot festivals, and the Festival of the Arts is no exception. Um, with each of the festivals, you usually have like an overarching theme that the Studios Around World Showcase kind of comply with. So with the Flower and Garden Festival in the spring, you get a lot of what we can make out of nature. So you get a lot of vegetables and you get a lot of fruits, maybe some flowers in your food. Lighter fare that, you know, really is focused in on what that festival is all about. The Food and Wine Festival is very similar in that it's all about the international, um, tastes and the individual cuisines and flavors and dishes of each country that's represented. So with the Festival of the Arts, it's all about two main things, presentation first and definitely flavor. Literally every dish is a masterpiece at this festival. Uh, if you look at the almond French pancake uh, from the Pop Eats studio, you can see the, just the individual layers of almond cake, different colors, pieced together and then layered with raspberry and chocolate, and it's just stunning to the point where you almost don't want to eat it. Uh, the croissant donuts, the trio of croissant donuts from the Painter's Palette, which is in the Odyssey Festival show place, was my favorite dish at the entire festival. And it's just obvious the time and the energy that went into creating these little sandwiches of all things that are made out of donuts. And that's what's so special about the food at the Festival of the Arts. You're literally watching an artist, these chefs, at work creating their pieces of art. Uh, when I was waiting for the braised short ribs and the seared red snapper from Cuisine Classique, uh, I was watching them as they delicately place these little dots, individual dots, of raspberry sauce on the plate. N had very little to do with the rest of the dish, but it was just a garnish. And when they're putting other garnishes on the top, just very gently, very slowly, just to make sure it's just right, and you have this overwhelming sense of you are watching a mastermind create their art, and that's so special and it's so great and really brings the idea of food being art into a whole new light. Now, I didn't have a chance to try everything um, on the food train in the one weekend that I was there, but I also loved, in addition to what I have already mentioned, I really loved the pomegranate mule, which you can find at the Painter's Palette, as well, the deconstructed breakfast, which is um, over near Mexico, and the charcuterie palette, I have a list here, of the charcuterie palette, which you can find over near Canada. And they were all just great. I mean, all the food I have was spectacular. Um, a lot of it is on personal taste and preference, but I mean, just, you can't really go wrong. My mom had some additional foods that I didn't get to try, uh, but I definitely recommend those if you are still able to go to the festival. As you can imagine, like the other festivals at Epcot, it's pretty difficult to do everything in one weekend. Actually, it's almost impossible. Uh, we spent a little bit of time every day at Epcot, several hours a day at Epcot, uh, Friday through Monday, the weekend we were there, and we barely scratched the surface of this festival. Um, there's workshops, and there's lectures, and there's performances, and there's special photo pass locations, and there's living statues, and artist tents, just all around World Showcase, all in addition to the food, and there's special art displays, and the list just goes on and on and on and on and on. Um, thankfully, they did uh, print out special times guides for each individual weekend. And then there is, as usual, a festival passport, which I really, really, really came to love with the Food and Wine Festival. It made it really easy to keep track of what I tried so far, what I still wanted to try, especially with the food. Um, and it does kind of tell you what's going on around World Showcase and throughout Epcot as well, uh, which is just super helpful. 
in figuring out what it is that you want to see if you have a shortened amount of time at the Epcot International Festival of the Arts. Of these special events, I was able to see um, the Broadway performance. The weekend I was there was Ashley Brown and Josh Strickland, and that was pretty much a dream come true because I am a huge Ashley Brown fan, so to see her perform Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious live was amazing. Uh, there are different performers, different weekends, kind of similar to the Eat to the Beat concert series and the concert series that goes on during Flower and Garden. The name is escaping me. Uh, but definitely, if you can go see the Broadway performance, go see it. It's definitely worth your time. It's also free. Keep that in mind. You're never going to have another chance to do something like that. So go see him. Uh, I also attended three different workshops in the Odyssey Center. So these were paid workshops that you know, we paid for ahead of time and then we went in and did artwork. So similar to what the Food and Wine Festival has with their workshops, Flower and Garden also has stuff like that. And we go in, you go and you make a piece of art and you get to take it with you. So all of the supplies are provided. Um, so I actually made this. This is one of my projects. This is a wall hanging, um, which is made from my macrame class. Macrame is the art of tying knots. Um, and it's pretty much my new favorite thing, um, hence uh, this giant pile of rope that I literally just picked up from the mail center. So you never know, you might find a new hobby at one of these festivals, um, maybe a type of art that you never knew about before. And that's what is so exciting about these educational opportunities at Epcot. I know there were a pretty few lectures throughout the days um, that we were there, and I know that's continuing throughout the following weekends as well. Um, there was a lot of free stuff at this festival in comparison to the others, which I really enjoy. Uh, other than that, there are some special annual pass holder and DVC um, opportunities that you can take advantage of, and even if that doesn't apply to you, I still encourage you to go check out the Epcot International Festival of the Arts before it ends its inaugural season. It's well worth your time, I enjoyed every second of it, and let's all hope that it returns for a second year, uh, because if it does, I will definitely be there, and we'll probably spend the entire time eating croissant donuts while checking out Mary Blair art. And if you're not able to go, you can see more of my adventures at the festival in upcoming vlogs as well. Other than that, I will see you all next week. I'm just gonna go and cut some rope. Uh, I love Carrie Fisher. Uh, ever since I was a little girl, I thought that was the best princess you could be when she um, first came on screen with Princess Leia. I mean, it's what every girl wants to be independent, beautiful, you know, how to fight and uh, stand up for herself. So I, I love everything about her. <laughs> She's such a was such a great role model to everybody. She showed you that you don't have to always be some crimp and proper person. That you could be anything. You could be a fighter. You could be your own person. You don't have to be just following the lines. It's gonna be great.